What bloody time is it? Uh, seven o'clock in the morning. Boys and gals, welcome to a breakfast beer review. Hello, welcome back to another beer review. And as uh, my pink friend just said, it's seven o'clock in the morning ish. <laughs> Something like that. The eyes are. <laughs> um, we got a beer for you. <laughs> we got a beer for you. We have got an East Coast Pale Ale. Um, and we have a bottle of Bear Island East Coast Pale Ale, boys and girls. Super smashing great. Clocking at 4.8% ABV. Now, this one is a Shepherd's Neem beer. Uh, Bear Island is apparently was an island within the grounds of uh, the Shepherd's Neem Brewery. This is widely available at Tesco's. Uh, <coughs> to be honest, um, I'm not incredibly excited about it. <laughs> There you go. It says a, a deep gold pale ale boasting citrus aromas, light caramel notes, and a robust bitterness. Bear Island blends the best of U.S. and British hops. Apparently, hops are Bodacia, uh, Amarillo, Cascade. There you go. So let's just whack this open, see what we get. Um, still got bits of musy stuck between my teeth, but never mind. See what we get. So there we have a big grizzly bear there on the crown. There's a hint of citrus there to it, but it's not speaking much on the nose, to be honest. So let's whack it in like we do. Um, yeah, this has been around for a while, this beer, to be honest. Um, I didn't buy it. Uh, the good lady wife bought it, so um, it's just one of them beers you walk by in the supermarket. You really don't take really much note notice of it, to be honest. It's you know, it's a because you know it's a Shepherd Neem beer, and to be honest, I haven't you know Shepherd Neem. Go back to the old days of beer reviewing. I really like Shepherd Neem. You know, Bishop's Finger, I liked and that, but. This, this stuff they churn out now and again. I, I, anyway, I haven't even reviewed it. I'm already sticking my knife in it. Um, Being a glass, as you can see, deep golden marmalade colour, thinning head, medium flow carbonation, very clear aroma. Again, a slight hint of citrus, slight hint of orange. <sighs> It, it smells okay. It, 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 it smells rather, you know, pleasant, to be honest. Proof is in the pudding. Cheers, everyone. Well... As you drink it, it, it kind of like smells, it, it tastes like what it smells to a degree. Hints of citrus. There's a hint of lime, maybe. Then you pick up, dare I say, that Shepardine taste I keep banging on about. It's you can just pick that up. It's not a, it's not an unpleasant taste. It's it's just a taste to it. Um, so it's like a bready, doughy, yeasty taste to it. Then it's slightly dry on the back end. Um, you know, to be honest with you, it, it doesn't cost. It didn't cost much. Um, I think it's a beer um, you just pick up, you know, if you're having friends around or whatever, you just pick this up, you know, just to dish out, you know, if you're hosting a, a party or whatever. It's just one of them beers which, you know, it's, it's, it's hardly stands out. You hardly remember it. It's It's just, you know, there. Um, 
But I would say it's terrible. But I would say it's great. It's just... This is one of them reviews, boys and girls, where I'm, I'm really drinking a quite a, a mediocre beer f and for a mediocre price, and it's doing what it says on the on the you know doing what it says on the label more or less. It's just a you know middle of the road type of thing. Um, pretty boring, but drinkable. Does it feel American? No, nah, not really. <laughs> Does it feel... <laughs> no, it doesn't. It feels like something brewed <laughs> by a very large brewery who would just want to churn out a shitload of beer, really. Um, so, yeah, so that's it. That's breakfast time over, anyway. Um, Bear Island, East Coast Pow Ow. What do I think of it? Give it a go if you want. It's it's just pretty forgettable. What was it called again? See you on my next one.